Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. In light of the subject at hand, I've decided to use a proper British accent to review the line of Florence by Mills. No, actually, people who always speak in British accents when they aren't actually from Britain kind of bug the fuck out of me. Flashback memory, I remember when I was in high school, I was raised in like a pretty small town and there was absolutely no diversity where I was from. And there was this new girl that started at our school and she was constantly using a British accent and I was just like, oh my gosh. This girl is being so freaking annoying. No, you're not being more relevant or more interesting by using a British accent. We all know you've lived within the same five mile radius of the city your entire life. And then I met her for the first time and I found out she was actually from Britain. Yeah, I felt so fucking bad about that. Phoebe, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. If you don't know Millie Bobby Brown, she's a freaking incredible actress that was featured on Stranger Things and has been included in other projects as well and has surged to just a massive amount of fame and influence at a very young age, which is incredible. Millie Bobby Brown recently announced and launched her new skincare line called Florence by Mills, which I have to say, I love that name. Every time I read it or say it, I just want to say Florence by Mills. You just have to say it in a proper tone. It just doesn't sound right when you're like Florence by Mills. Like American accents just butcher the name. Obviously, you saw the title of this video and you may be intrigued as to why and so I'm going to be talking about a few of the products from the line, my thoughts on them, and the thoughts of the brand overall and why I have decided to not purchase any of the Florence by Mills products. I'm a skincare YouTuber, I talk about all things skincare on here and I try to teach you guys as much as possible and I've seen so many requests for this brand and I know if you guys are new to my channel and watching you may be surprised that I'm not purchasing these products but if you're not new, hello, I'm the shadiest beauty YouTuber on YouTube, there's just no way around it. So whether you are surprised or not to see this, let's delve into the topic. Now Florence by Mills is a skincare and makeup brand inspired by the amount of times that Millie Bobby Brown has sat in makeup chairs for different gigs, for jobs, acting opportunities, different things like that. And before I get into the products and the brand review, I just want to say real quick, I have seen in the comment sections so many people drag Millie Bobby Brown for creating this brand, saying things like, you're a teenager, what do you know about business, what do you know about skincare? You obviously haven't been in the industry long enough to really understand what it takes. This brand is amateur. And to anyone who who feels that way. I just want to say something. Shut the fuck up. I personally find it so inspiring that Millie is creating her own brand, a bi-phased brand, both skincare and makeup at such a young age. Like, shouldn't we find that absolutely inspiring? I think it's incredible that a young person values the health of their skin and the way that they appear and wants to curate that for other people her age. Creating a brand is so massively difficult. No matter how many people you add onto your team, it takes a lot of work to create a brand. And first of all, for all the people who are saying that she too young to do something like this, let me just take a guess as to what you're doing with your life and the amount of success that you've managed to achieve. Right away, I'm just gonna guess that that's very little to none. So moving on. Second of all, for the people who are saying that she hasn't been in the skincare industry or makeup industry long enough to understand what it takes, there are plenty of young professionals, young chemists, young dermatologists who know more about skincare than someone who worked at a Macy's counter for 30 years and thinks that they know everything about skincare and makeup. And you shouldn't judge someone's educational views about skincare or makeup based off of how young they are. It should be more about what research they've been doing, their experiences, and the amount of initiative and passion that that they have around the topics. So I just wanted to say that so you initially wouldn't think that those are the reasons that I'm not purchasing the brand and to just let you guys know that if you do take that stance, humble yourself, bitch. There's a lot of inspiration to be taken from Millie creating this brand. Now onto the brand itself. It is cruelty-free and vegan, two things that I think are very important in the curation of cosmetic products and can be really hard to find, so good for her. The brand also sets itself apart as being a clean beauty brand, which they formulate without a lot of ingredients that are commonly labeled to be as as irritating or stripping to the face. One of the things I will appreciate is that they don't formulate with synthetic fragrance. If you're new to my channel, hi. I am a mortal enemy of fragrance. I do not like her, we do not talk. It's been years since we've had an interaction. Also as well, a portion of the proceeds from the brand go to support the Olivia Hope Foundation, which helps to prevent and assist any children who are currently going through cancer, which I think is incredible because we need more companies with a moral responsibility and ethical stature. Overall, my first look at the brand was very positive. I was like, wow, they seem to be very transparent, they try to be clean, they're doing all this good stuff, and then I looked at the ingredient list. So when it comes to me in skincare, I am big about reading ingredient lists. You can tell me as much about the product, what it's gonna do, how it's gonna feel, how it's gonna smell, and I literally do not give a fuck. 
I'm the type of person to where I'm just like, show me the ingredient list and I'll figure out what the product does from there and whether or not I like it. So as soon as Florence by Mills was announced, I was just so nervous and excited to see what the ingredient lists were going to be. And a few days ago, I went onto the website and I found that, oh my gosh, they all of a sudden launched and they were sold out. Like I totally missed the launch day. I don't know where I was, off in La La Land apparently. But I was finally able to look through the ingredient list and I want to talk about a few of the products from her line, at least the most popular ones from what I've seen and my true and honest thoughts on each of them. So first off, the moisturizer. Honestly, the product that I would be expected to be purchased the most and sure enough, it was sold out. It retails for $14. Now the moisturizer contains a lot of really good beneficial ingredients that I see in a lot of standard or like drugstore moisturizers. Just a really good array of hydrating and emollient ingredients, which basically means that they really help to like put a seal of hydration over the face to make sure that your skin is getting as much moisture as it can. Also in the moisturizer, there's some really good antioxidants just to help ward off any type of damage that we can see on our face throughout the day. However, when you start to go down the ingredient list, you will notice their fragrant blend. And what I'm specifically talking about is fragrant essential oils. In this ingredient list, I saw sandalwood oil, rose oil, lavender oil, lemon oil, jasmine oil, orange peel oil, as well as a bunch of other essential oils. Now, if you don't already know, I'm personally not a fan of essential oils. If you want to learn all about my stance on fragrance and essential oils in skincare, just look at the video in my description box below. I go into more detail there, but I'm personally not a fan because essential oils tend to be more irritating and compromised to the skin than they are beneficial. And yes, while the smell may make you nostalgic of the days when you used to walk with your ex through the lavender and tulip fields in Portland, Oregon, that doesn't mean that they're good for your face, bitch. Essential oils are not something that I want on my face and from the research that I've seen are just not good to have on your skin. I went on to the face wash next and looking at the ingredients, it's just like a standard hydrating wash. I will say they don't formulate with sulfates, which I thought was great because Considering that this line is mostly targeted to teenagers and teenagers can go in really hard with the cleanser because I know I used to. Now when I cleanse my skin, I'm just kind of like that. But when I was a teenager, oh, I was fucking bulldozing through my face. My goal by the end of my shower was to make sure that I didn't have a nose anymore. Just like, Ugh. sometimes I still struggle with that, but you know. It also includes willow bark extract, which is like a natural form of salicylic acid. So it's a more gentle form and really good for getting deep into the pores and pushing out any types of dirt, which is great for any teenager struggling with acne. However, this cleanser does include essential oils as well. Pretty much the same as the moisturizer, sandalwood, lemon, orange peel extract, jasmine, lavender, just all those ones that tend to be really bad for the skin. Although I will say with a face wash, it's not quite as bad to have fragrance in them because it is a wash off treatment. When I did see how many essential oils were in this, I was like, uh see there's a lot of other cleansers without any essential oils or with just one essential oil that honestly are going to perform better on my skin. So I went on to the next products which was the exfoliating wipes which retailed for $16. These are 30 wipes that you just put over your skin to help get rid of all the dead skin cells on your face. Now I love exfoliation just as much as the next bitch and right away when I saw this I was like yes it is formulated with a very low concentration of denatured alcohol which I have to say is definitely impressive for exfoliating wipes. Usually they are heavy with the alcohol. It's like they're trying to get your skin drunk or something. I don't understand it. But the second ingredient is glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is the most powerful of exfoliants and I honestly think is a good match for teenagers with acne prone skin because they really need something strong to get in there and get all the dead skin cells off the face. However, this includes a lot of essential oils as well with an even higher concentration of lemon and orange peel oil, as well as geraniol, limonene, and linalool, all of which are citrus-based fragrance ingredients that are really not good to have on your skin. I personally like this product the least because of the amount of citrus-based essential oils. Citrus-based essential oils are the most irritating because they're the most acidic and just can cause the most irritation and problems for your skin. So I had to pass on the wipes as well. The products are formulated with so many essential oils except for the eye cream. The one product that I maybe would have purchased if it wasn't already sold out. But it definitely looked intriguing to me. It retails for $16. And this is formulated with a peptide complex, which I thought was really interesting because the majority of this line is definitely a line that you can tell is more meant for teenagers. There's really no heavy treatments. It's just kind of basic skincare. But peptides work really well for helping to firm and tighten any areas on your face and are specifically really good for the under eye area. It's also formulated with hydrating oils, a form of hyaluronic 
hyaluronic acid called sodium hyaluronate, which is really going to draw in moisture to the skin, as well as snow mushroom, which is going to calm any irritation and redness in the skin. I didn't see any essential oils in this product, which is awesome. And it's honestly a product I probably would have bought. However, it has an applicator that I really don't like. I am personally not a fan of the applicators where you like dot it on or massage it on under your eye. They just tend to be dragging my under eye skin way too much for me to feel comfortable with. I personally like tapping my eye cream into my under eye area with my fingers. And when I read the instructions online, it was like, basically put a few dots of the eye cream on your under eye area and then gently pat in with your fingers. And when I saw that, I was like, but what's the point of the applicator though? I don't understand. I would much rather just choose a tube or a jar to apply my eye cream with. Now I'm not gonna get into crazy detail, but this is the primary reason why I haven't purchased any of the Florence by Mills products. Overall, a lot of the ingredients seem to be good, but the amount of essential oils that they formulate with is much too high for the skin. Your skin shouldn't have any more than 0.1% of an essential oil exposed to it every single day. And because each of these essential oils ingredients are formulated above the 1% line on these products, you're likely getting anywhere from like, I don't know, one to 5% of essential oil content on your face, knowing the long-term damage that essential oils can create in your skin, like fragrance allergy and irritation and redness and just overall sensitivity, I do not feel comfortable exposing my skin to those things every single day. Now, I do want to add some final thoughts just looking at the brand overall. Do I think this is a good brand? Yes, and here's the reason why. The primary followers of Millie Bobby Brown are teenagers, and when it comes to skincare and teenagers, brands tend to put out the most abrasive, damaging, stripping products that they can for teenagers because because teenagers want fast results. They wanna see something happen in their face right away. And just from a skin safety level, that is not what you should be seeing. There are very few products where I find that it is okay that I notice results immediately. Most of the time, skincare is a marathon, not a race. It's a slow process of seeing the results within your skin. And I am so thankful that Florence by Mills hasn't formulated with a lot of irritating, stripping, and damaging ingredients to the skin because they know they are primarily targeted to teenagers and with the entire skincare community moving towards a more clean and ingredient aware perspective. I think it's very smart of them for them to formulate their products like this. Do I respect Millie Bobby Brown? Absolutely. Do I think it's incredible that she's making this brand and reaching her own success? Absolutely. And I think that should be inspiring to every single one of us. I know it is to me. But if anyone from Florence by Mills is watching this video, I just want to say if there is any option to release a line without essential oils, I would buy that shit in a heartbeat because the price point of the brand is so good. Oh yeah, that's something I forgot to talk about. The price point I really like. I don't think any of the products are over $20, which is really good for teenagers, but also for uh, broke ass bitches like <laughs> me. Just for anyone who's not looking to spend a buttload on skincare. So I would be more than happy to buy and try a bunch of the products, but the products currently have so many essential oils and that's just where I have to say no to this product line and why I won't be purchasing any of the Florence by Mills products anytime soon. What do you guys think of the brand? Let me know in the comment section below. I want to hear your thoughts on Millie, if you like the products, if you agree with my stance on essential oils. Let me know the tea, sis. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.